everyone hi everyone we are ready for the day yeah i know <laughs> so anyway good morning we are getting ready to go to bush gardens as you can see what about is that mine too i don't know babe i just oh, put this on but we're gonna have fun for sure you ain't putting this on the internet is it yeah you gonna have it all on the internet we about Eagle to go oh. and have a good time at Bush Gardens. This is the baby's first time we at Bush Gardens. We gonna have so much fun, baby. I'm fine. Yeah. So we ended up decided to go get some Bush Garden tickets. So we gonna go and have a good time. Y'all know we was in the swag, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is an awkward start, but we are here. Don't worry about it. As long as we're filming. Something good. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's get a. Uh, Let's go. Can we all get right here? Get a thumbnail. Get a what, baby? A thumbnail. Get on David's side. There you get go. There you go. Get my dog, 20 years deep. Yay! <laughs> gonna have fun today, baby. Yeah. You fancy, huh, girl? Come on. Squeeze in it. I see the hair. I know. We excited. Let's do it. Everybody got everything they need. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, this should be interesting on how this goes because we got the whole fam down. Yep. And this is our first time taking the girls out to Bush, Bush Garden. Garden. Hopefully, it goes well. We are going to start getting more stuff that is going to help out the babies. Like, we got our fans, the diaper bags, the high chairs, the everything. <laughs> We're pretty prepared from like the last time we went to like a theme park like Disney and stuff like that. Yeah. The only thing I didn't bring and I kind of forgot was the carrier. We'll see how it goes yeah. without it. Hey, it's just 30 minutes up the road. We haven't even come back for something. I know. <laughs> it's more than 30 minutes, y'all. Don't try to cock it. ain't that we bad. Live. So we ended up getting Bush Gardens, SeaWorld, Aquatica, and Venture uh, Island. Yeah. So y'all gonna be getting a lot more park content. So you know what this means, right? This means that I need mics. Because they ain't gonna be up in here mm -hmm. all the time, so. Mm -hmm. We gonna uh, do the best we can. We gonna try to get a mic. I do actually have a mic, but the mic is not really that functional yeah. to just be at a theme park. They got preferred baby parking too. Mm -hmm. They make it real convenient. I know. <laughs> we have to take no trams, no nothing. It's very hard getting on a tram and you having a big stroller. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, no matter what part we get from now on, we will always do preferred parking because lugging strollers onto a tram yeah. is created by the um, devil. Unfortunately at Disney, it don't matter. Everybody got to ride the monorail to get to the park. This is around the time where they lifted the whole mask thing. So we still got them just in case, but. Yeah, we still got them, but you only need them in cases where. Indoors. You're indoors or just close in line. So when I get in line, I'm probably going to put mine on. Left on the eye in Gaza. I want to go five more. Huh? Why? Why? I'm sorry. What's going on? Ain't no line. No, no, no. I, don't I don't know if it's open. Yeah, we drank. Yeah. Oh, what you thought? I got my Rona. What this was. <laughs> I got what it too. Was. I know. And I'm the designated driver. Yep. Like always. Mm -hmm. I need to get that stabilizer. It's all I good. need to be like that one be on your chest. It's all good. It's real life. It's I know. Real life and everybody got to stabilize. Sometimes it's a little shaky. <laughs> They about to go ride Shikra Seba. I'm gonna be back here with the kids. We gonna go play little kid stuff. All right, y'all. So this should be interesting because I'm about to play with the kids by myself. So we about to go over here to the kids now. So it is 10 o'clock and the park is just opening. Ciao. 
Yeah, they don't care about me, child. They don't care about me. Yay! Good job, babies. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> You okay? Say ticka 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 I think I didn't think about the height part of this. I didn't think this was really that high. You know what? So we in this little roundabout egg. I have to show y'all when I'm off of it. You okay? I'm gonna tell you one thing. I don't like heights either. I don't like heights either. But no allergy. Oh yeah, see we. Are you okay? I don't know if she likes the height part of this. You okay, baby? Say yay! Yay! Nah, I feel you. I feel you because I don't like heights either. You can look it down. Yeah. I know, it's a little sickly. She's afraid. She doesn't really like this so much. Meanwhile, this one. Are you good? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. <laughs> you can do this. You got this, baby. You got this? You got this? Splash park in here. You see that? No. There's a whole splash park over there. Y'all. So this is the new Tigris ride. And I want y'all to see this roller coaster in action. Cause it's something serious. When it come back, I'ma show y'all. But the boys, thing one and thing two, was trying to get me to ride this ride without my wig on. Look, it's already slipping. It's not even as. Yeah, we almost set up for failure. All right, before we go any further, let me just put it in perspective because you might be thinking there's no reason why your wig should look like that. Listen, okay, first of all, mind your business. Second of all, <laughs> I'm a little butt hurt. Okay, this ride uh, you will see in a minute because I feel like the video or the clip that I'm about to show you all is not gonna even do it justice on how fast this ride is, okay. First of all, David and his best friend had got on Tigris. We had got into the line and I seen the way that it was going through the little terminal turnstile thing. And I was like, uh-uh. It was to the point to where David lost the hat. The hat that I was planning on wearing the rest of the day. I was wearing a hat. Um, to cover up my wig because I wasn't in the mood to really ride anything and I just threw on the wig put on the hat and that's what it was David's head got sweaty. He wanted his hat back It's to the point to where this Florida heat and humidity is created by the devil And that is what you are about to see with my wig my wig has slipped off the glue is gone Everything you need a monster glue a serious bond or whatever if you're gonna be wearing wigs now I was not planning on riding any rides okay let's make that clear cuz I would not have worn a wig to ride on rides that was not the plan but they was trying to talk me into it so I'm just selling you this to put it in perspective and I want it to be real rap raw with y'all and show y'all what my wig was looking like so y'all can understand how they was about to try my life I am so happy that I did not get on this ride because they would have had me out here looking hurt and everyone would have had to go home yeah, yeah so they were trying to make me ride this ride. We wrong. We'd have been in the wrong, y'all. We'd have been in the wrong. Do y'all misjudged it? How was I gonna ride that? I know y'all see that. I wasn't gonna make it. My wig would have came right off talking about they gonna catch it. Talking about they gonna catch it. They ain't 
It don't even look as fast as this. Bad, but yeah, what'd you get on it? Oh, it was so disrespectful. And my babe wouldn't even have my back. <laughs> and he wrote it already. I think, like, when I went on the second time, I was like, damn, this is even worse the second time. Like, and, I thought she'd be able to, like, do this. But then after riding it again, I was like, no, nah, you can't do that. Ain't no way. <laughs> and then the straps on the chest is loose. Yeah, it's a, a bottom, bottom restraint. Yeah. So how would I was gonna be able to do this and this? You wanna look at the tiger? In My baby don't love me. I love you, baby. He don't love me because he would have had me out here looking crazy. My wig already slipping just from the heat. Let's go in here. Oh, that's the perfect place to be. Go ahead. Yep. Yes. What's your shoe on, girl? <laughs> Look, she trying to hand me to put the shoe on. Ready? Oh, you heard her? No. She said, yeah. I missed it. You ready? <laughs> Uh, only one time. So you ain't getting it on camera first. Come on. You got it. Ooh, look at you. Can get out by yourself. See the tiger? So in this part, I wanted to give a little tidbit of advice, so drop a little gems, especially if you have families and kids. I think this little theater room that's inside of, I believe Egypt has like a a la carte of different restaurants and everything like that. I know they used to play shows in here. I'm not really sure if they still do, but this is a good place to go to go cool down and eat and just take a break from the Florida heat. Also, I would advise to bring snacks and food for your kids. I'm not really sure if you are allowed to, but I tend to just hide them in like compartments that I know they're not going to check, like the changing pad area, that type of thing. Uh, Brittany! Dang, it might not catch it all. You ain't nervous? Eli. Eli. Ah! Curious on how Bush Gardens is going. Child, my wig hat on. And I'm sitting in the back of the van with the two girls. You know, I just come to realize as a parent and as a mother, you do what you gotta do. 
So we sitting in the back of the van because the girls was tired and they were sleeping in the stroller and it's too hot out there because I only have one stroller fan and it's just, it's more and more reasons. But I end up going to the car because there's really nothing much for the girls to do because a lot of stuff is closed during COVID. I actually forgot to film the situation ship with uh, the little kitty area, but basically everything gets closed due to COVID, but it's supposed to open back up within the next month or so, but they're in the process of doing cleanings. So most of the time I was just sitting out with the girls. I wasn't really mad. I wasn't feeling like I was leaving out, but you know, our other family members they don't have a year pass so um we have to basically allow them to utilize their time so i'm just kind of waiting they said they was going to go on one ride and come back or whatever or get ready to leave but that time is ticking so uh, i'm only gonna wait in here so long or we just gotta go so yeah we're just hanging out chillaxing the girls woke up immediately so that didn't really work out. I kind of tried to make a makeshift like pallet back here, but then they're waking up. So I just end up throwing everything in the back seat. That's why it looks like crazy and messy because essentially, because it was already out of the stroller and in the back of the trunk, I couldn't really like put stuff where they belong. So I had to just throw it back here so that they wouldn't try to jump out the trunk while I was trying to put the stroller up. So I literally had to put the stroller, like squeeze it up front. Just all kinds of all kinds. So I'm letting the girls just roam around. I'm about to change their diapers really soon. And you know, overall, we just had a really good experience. Um, as far as COVID goes, COVID at Bush Garden is non-existent. This is like pre-COVID stage. Like I haven't seen no markers for social distancing. I have seen signs but no like foot markers or anything. No one enforcing to wear uh, masks inside of uh, food areas now. We are vaccinated, so uh, that doesn't really stress me out much. We just kind of stay away from the crowds as much as possible. Outside of that, there's really nothing we can do. I just wanted to make sure I come back to you guys, tell you guys how it's going, how it went next time. I really want to... Hello? Hey, we got into the car. I was kangaroos and stuff over there. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I rode the ride. We got there and it was a 65 minute wait, so we just walked over to get the free beer and then now we're heading, heading out. The next 20 minutes or so, that's probably how long it takes to get over there. Yeah, we're just gonna continue hanging out here. But I don't really think there's nothing else to really vlog. I definitely love you guys. And there will be more of these vlogs coming soon. Hopefully, as I do them more, I'll get a little bit better at vlogging the parks and stuff like that. I'm not really that. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. They're hoping that I'm not going to wear this wig. Or if I'm wearing it, I need to sew that thing down. Because this is not going to work. And I just realized I am not a straight hair girl. Just not. So anyway, going to go. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye, girls.